In the meantime, the Republican majorities in both houses of Florida's legislature are advancing another pet project. They call it the Parents' Bill of Rights. Fox 4's Rochelle Aline shows you some of what's in it tonight and how it could affect your kid's school experience. Following a standing ovation Thursday, 78 yeas, 37 nays, Mr. Speaker. Show the bill passes. The State House passed Bill 241. I believe parents know best. That's its sponsor, Representative Aaron Grawl, who gave this summary of what it hopes to accomplish. Who is it to decide what is a bad parent? But who doesn't get to decide? The school, the government, the institution that we've entrusted our children to. Nicknamed the Parents' Bill of Rights, the bill outlines a broad list of guarantees to parents, especially when it comes to education and medical care. There are things like allowing you as the parent to opt your child out of things like sex ed or courses on religion and morality in school. Some parents believe in having an abstinence conversation with their, with their children, and some parents believe in talking about safe sex. And it also asks this of local schools. There's a line in the bill that says that it would require each school district board to develop and adopt a policy to promote parental involvement in the public school system. So I asked a few local school districts if this would require any major changes on their part. Each and every one of our schools has a, a PTO or PTA, Parent Teachers Association or organization, whichever you want to call it, um, which, you know, we, we encourage the parents to come to the meetings. We encourage their input. But Charlotte Lee and Collier County Schools all confirmed that they already do all of these things. If anything, a spokesperson for Charlotte County Public Schools says they may look for new ways to engage parents who have busy schedules and can't be as involved. We have volunteers through the years that have been there 40 hours, you know, the whole week, Monday through Friday, all day long. And then at programs and at the carnivals and fundraisers and and then some you know it's hard to get them to come to school for a, a teacher conference and that's where I think maybe that the, the bill is headed. But above all else the districts also say if passed they'll follow the new law and continue upholding the standards they already have in place. Whether we agree or disagree or approve of something that comes down from Tallahassee we are always in compliance with, with the state law. A similar bill died in the state Senate last year, but tomorrow this version will be heard in a state Senate committee. If passed and signed by the governor, it would go into effect on July 1st. In Cape Coral, Rochelle Aline, Fox 4.